Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, my daughter's birthday is coming up in three days, so um, she wanted me to do a drawing for her. Uh, she likes uh, Gumball. I don't know if you guys have heard of Amazing World of Gumball. It's on Cartoon Network. So she wanted me to do a drawing of Gumball for her for her birthday. I'm like, oh, that seems easy. Too easy. So instead of doing that, um, I picked the biggest wall in her room. It's about an 8 by 10 foot wall, and we're going to do a mural of Gumball characters on the wall. So I thought I'd do a video of the mural and show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to pull off a mural if your kids like uh, something and you can pull it off without even being very artsy if you um, do it right I just freehanded you know I, I just Google searched Google image searched um, gumball and found a good uh, picture that I liked it's actually you can't I already penciled it on there you can't see it but it's five of the main family characters and they're flying through the air so You'll kind of see once I get started on it, but I wanted to show you if um, if you're not artsy enough to just freehand it, uh, you got to first start by penciling it onto the wall before you start painting. But uh, you can use a grid system. So I just sketched this uh, these lilies up real quick just to show you how you can grid it out. So um, these are, you know, basically an inch an inch squares, and if you grid off your picture, um, you could grid the wall the same way, but but each one of these inch squares will be a foot square on the wall. So you can use a chalk line or something that you can wipe off easy. So you can snap a chalk line, grid off the wall, and then one at a time you'll be like, okay, uh, you know, third from the left, it's got to be this little stock with this little, you know, pistol on it. And uh, you, you can actually do it very accurately and it'll be to scale and it'll seem like you're an amazing artist but just using the fact that the grid system kind of allows you to just go one step at a time. You can number these if you want or just count them over and be like, okay, this one needs this little line and this little thing. It's actually pretty easy. You'll be surprised at how uh, accurate you can make a large picture. And you can just print one off. You know, I sketched this up quick, but you can just print a picture off, grid it out, grid the wall off, and then just follow, follow that. It actually ends up being really easy. So... But I just freehanded that on there earlier today before I went to work. It took about an hour. Um, I'll show you the picture. Well, I'll have to skip to it. So let's skip to that now. Yeah, see, that was the picture. Them are the characters. So if you guys have seen that, you might recognize that. Um, but I want to just give you a, a couple other tips here. We're going to start with the lightest colors. Um, you always want to start with a light color. Some people might think you might want to, you know, the, all these cartoon characters are all outlined in black. So it might be your first instinct to just go up and uh, do all the black lines and get nice bold lines, but it's kind of the opposite of that. You want to start with the lightest colors, white, um, pinks, and work your way out to the darkest color, the very last color that we'll be adding painting or adding on. I'll show you a trick to that too, is going to be the black. That's the last step. But just got cheap acrylic. This is fine for wall murals, you know. It's uh, they're about a buck each, buck fifty. So and the whole thing will just be done in with these two sponge brushes. So that's all I usually use is these little cheap old sponge brushes. So we already got it penciled in, and we'll speed up the time when I start painting, and I'll maybe stop and tell you guys what I'm doing a little bit. But we'll see this thing come to life very quickly. So I better stop wasting time here. I'm going to stop this for right now.
All right, hey, uh, we got the color, all the, the colors in. Looks pretty good, but um, the, the main part that we don't have yet is the black, and that's what's actually going to make this thing come to life. This, if you think this looks good now, wait just a little while because once you start adding the black in there that is what makes these characters what they are you know a, a cartoon character is usually a dark outline with color added to it but this is just the color no black um, now what I wanted to tell you guys is the hardest part about this whole thing I mean this was pretty easy it's almost like a paint by number basically once you have your pencil sketch on the wall you know, I just kept looking at the drawing, matching the colors, filling it in like a paint by number. But the hardest part I've always found now is making perfect fine black lines, um, like with a paintbrush. It's very hard. And every teeny little blob or mistake you make, it just sticks out. It's, it's bad. So what I found actually works is you can use Sharpies or paint markers if you know what a paint marker is, it actually looks about like this. They're, they're usually made for models. Um, they have a little ball bearing in here. I, I wish I had one right now, but I don't. But a big fat Sharpie like this can be used to do your outlines of your characters because you can get a nice solid um, streak of black. But the only problem I'm running into is this wall. Somebody went overboard on the texture. You know how a lot of these walls, you know, your walls that even at your house have texture on them. You rub your hand on this wall, it'll it'll rub your skin right off there. It's it's got way too much texture to it, so it might be hard to outline with the sharpie, so I might have to hand paint the outline which will be terrible. It'll be horrible. It's going to take a long time. Um, this took 4 hours. Now, once we started the time lapse and I started painting, it's four hours later now. It's uh, 2.40 a.m. So I'm praying to God that the the marker idea works for these. And uh, you'll see this come to life. This is nothing. This is just just the color. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, yeah, I'll start taping again in a second. But I hope I don't have to bust out a little skinny paintbrush and start hand, uh, hand painting the black lines because it is not fun. And... Uh, I hope you guys don't have to do that either on yours. I mean, uh, expect to use a paint marker or a big old fatty Sharpie like this and some little detail ones like this. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> Not going to work. There's too much texture on the wall. I have to hand paint the black lines. So, okay, we'll see you in another four hours. All right, hey, there we go, done. Uh, I held true to my word. I said I was gonna finish it in one sitting. I'm a knee. Um, I did, it sucked doing all the black lines by hand. It definitely helped to water down the black paint. It helped to uh, allow me to get about five inches before I had to re-dip it. And holy crap, that took a long time. But look, this is a big gumball. This thing's bigger than me. That's a five-foot gumball. So yeah, my daughter wanted a, a, me to draw her a picture of a gumball, so now she's going to have this. And she doesn't know I'm doing this, and she's not uh, coming over until Thursday, day before her birthday. So 
Uh, I'll tape her reaction, you know, I'll set up the camera and tape her reaction, so hopefully she's not like, uh, Gumball's actually lame. We just found out Gumball is gay. So, but I'm a freaking zombie. It, it, this took a lot out of me. I didn't think I was going to finish it tonight. It was all them stupid hand painting them black lines. Um, it was, uh, yeah, you guys are lucky that um, this is all sped up because this was seven hours of painting. Straight, seven hours straight. With an hour of the penciling it on there, so. It, I guess eight hours altogether, but I don't feel like I'd want to do it again anytime soon. But yeah, I guess I was trying to explain how easy it could possibly be to do uh, a mural. And it really is until you get down to them stupid black lines they just suck and it takes a steady hand and good soft brush and it definitely helped to add a lot of water to that black but I it just was slow it took hours and hours and hours so thank god this is all sped up alright <laughs> alright enough of this I'm gonna add a little bit more to it tomorrow I'm gonna add some clouds they're flying so I'm gonna probably add some clouds I'm gonna touch up I'll probably see some mistakes when I wake up tomorrow cuz I'm in a daze I'm like a zombie so I'll touch it up and then uh, add some clouds and it's gonna be good to go so alright hey you guys stay cool alright I'm gonna go pick up my daughter from school I'm gonna just leave this taping I got it kinda hidden in a room so she's gonna come through that door and we'll see what her reaction is. Oh my God. It's just paint. Look, I got your reaction. Tell the camera that you either like it or hate it. I love it. You like it? Yeah. Okay, I'm stopping the camera.